All right, now we'll look at creating a zero gravity roll. I'm going to start with an initial speed of 25 meters per second, which equates to about 56 miles an hour. Initial normal, normal force of 3.3 g's, and we'll change the y position to 5 meters to lower the track. And this time we're going to use a multi zone force section. I'll we'll switch to that. We'll switch the orientation to quaternion since this is a looping element. And this uh, zero g roll will consist of three normal subzones, which we can go ahead and create right now. And these three subzones will span one roll and one lateral zone. So we can go ahead and lock those two so they'll automatically adjust their size or their links to the appropriate uh, size appropriate value. And now we want to switch back to the first uh, normal subzone. And this zone starts off with a normal force of 3.3 g's and we want to bring that to zero so we'll subtract 3.3 g's from this uh, subzone. And we can look at this uh, more visually by switching to normal lateral force here and then turning on the visual fins and we see that in fact we start with again a normal of of 3.3 and that transitions to zero by the end of this subzone. Uh, the middle part uh, or the second zone rather will be the zero G part of the roll and then the third subzone will be the pullout and we want to pull out with a normal of about three G's like this and now what we'll do is we'll switch back to the first subzone and increase its length to about 1.75, 1.8, something like that. Uh, and then we'll switch to the second zone, the zero G part of the, the element, increase this to about 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.55 is pretty good. And then we'll switch to the last zone and adjust its length to about 1.84. That's that's pretty good. We want to make sure that the the time of the last subzone is approximately equal to the time of the first subzone, and that's because when we add our our roll, or we add our twist, uh, it will occur approximately in the middle of the element. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now I'll just add the twist. And I'm going to stop when this roll value gets to about zero. So that will tell me that I've completed the, the roll. So that's close enough. And there's your basic zero G roll. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Now there's a few things that you can do to uh, customize it. One would be to adjust uh, the sort of steepness of the roll transition. Right now it's rather gradual. It occurs over a length of five seconds um, in this case. So we can adjust that by switching the transition type to time warping. By adjusting the attention we can make the roll occur more steeply, more abruptly, like this. And you can see this is an extreme case that wouldn't be very comfortable to ride. But something uh, maybe in this area would be okay. Or you can make it more gradual if you wanted. Um, and you can also adjust uh, the centering by this slider. And that's pretty much all there is to it.